welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today we start our absolutely free course on how to build a Ford 302. In this series, you will learn how to disassemble your engine, replace the crankshaft, pistons, heads, valve train, every single nut and bolt technique and torque spec to get your engine back in your car and back on the road having fun. We even take it to the dyno to learn exactly how much power that this engine combination makes. So if you so if you follow along on this build series and do exactly the things that I do with exactly the same parts, you will make the power that we made, which is a really nice number if you ask me. The Ford 302 is put in all kinds of trucks and cars from the 60s all the way to the early 2000s, so they are very common, very affordable, and a lot of fun to work on. We also decided to stroke our engine. What does that mean exactly? So instead of being a 302, what we've done is change how long the stroke is inside the engine. This increases the volume of the engine, which basically means you can pull in more air and therefore more fuel and make more power. You're increasing the volume of the engine by changing how far down the piston goes using a different crankshaft and it has to be tolerance for that as well. But if you don't want a 347, totally understandable. Just follow along and you'll have a wonderful 302 as well. It, everything applies exactly the same. By the end of this series, you will be a 302 Ford expert. You will be able to assemble one in your garage with no special tools or prior knowledge. Just this video series that I'm keeping for free right here on YouTube. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments down below or go to our website 2carpros.com where I will be along shortly to answer your question for absolutely free. With all out of the way, let's jump into our first video, which is disassembly. This is typically how you will get an engine from a junkyard or pulled out of an old truck or Mustang. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump into it. 